you're on yes. second. No, shit. No, let, let me no, no. Who's on first? Who's on first? Who's on first? You're on second, first. Westbury third. You two can raffle. Who? Depends who wants it. All right. One, two, one, two. We are rolling. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. This is the final word, <laughs> wedding daily. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that people joked about us doing and the thing we are going to do because it was funny. So why not Jeff Lemon and Daniel Norcross with you. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Jeff. It's, 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 am I holding this or that? You're holding the, They're both for different things. People ask okay. us about this all the time. This yeah. one goes to the audio, microphones yeah. we're talking about, and that one goes to the camera. Okay. Yeah, it's just easier for, for right. posting. That's a very Lovely. interesting start to the show. Yeah, it's but fascinating. The, yeah. the point is that our final word <laughs> colleague, Adam Collins, was married today. Um, and, and I would like to start the show, as we mm. often do, yeah. with the wedding in 30 seconds. Uh, Adam Collins stood up and said, Adam Collins, SEN Test Cricket, here for Henley Holmes with McCafe. <laughs> 30 years of coffee fit for an Aussie. And he then, Magnet, well, I don't think he did. I think Rachel put in the most brilliant vow I've ever heard, which is that they would be faithful to each other as long as their married lives continued. And I thought that was fucking moving. Yes, I mean, that is moving, right? Yeah. It, it, is, it, is, it is realistic about the, the, yeah. the modern world in which we live. I mean, yeah. everybody has to do their part. I mean, they uh, never last, do they, weddings, marriages, really? I mean, if you look around, do you know anyone who's still together? I don't apart know, from me? I, I, apart from you. Yeah. I mean, you're the obvious kind But of I'm very inert. I don't know why I started with you. You've got the most depressing take on things <laughs> of anybody I could have talked to because, because on the wedding daily, we're going to talk to every former host of The Final Word who is at the wedding. Um, aside, it was beautiful, aside from though. Adam, who's it was not beautiful. former. It was beautiful and it was mercifully brief. And that's what I like in a wedding. I, I hate long weddings. I've been to a Catholic wedding and it absolutely killed me. Two and a quarter hours in a wedding suit on a hot day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, bizarrely enough, they did split up after a year and a half. Uh, this, this will last longer and it is beautiful. It was wonderful to see. Uh, there was just a, a brief bit of fun Older role at the start. They got straight into the uh, the technique. I thought was excellent. Um, uh, handing over the rings. It did that with with uh, perfection. Actually, not a slip. Um, they signed. I thought very well. Mm -hmm. There was only one song. Two small readings. Oldroyd was magnificent. Uh, Wayne Swan was the best named man at an Australian wedding ever to uh, read anything out, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we got straight into a rooftop bar where you can smoke. I am slightly vertiginous and want to leap to my early death mm. because that's what happens with vertigo. But other than that, so far things have gone swimmingly. You did, you did say when we were recording this that um, the worst thing was that I was making you stand up because yes. then you can see over the edge. We have yes. our backs to the edge. We're high up well, on a rooftop. There's an edge over there. Oh, yeah, there is an edge there. We're, we're on the Standard Hotel, um, which is not standard. It's it's overlooking. Is this is this St Pancras? Yes, is it is. Oh, no, don't make me look at St Pancras. No, just it's imagine it. Well, it's over there, and it's beautiful. It's yeah. fantastic. It was renovated in the late 1980s, um, uh, and people are very surprised that anybody bothered to do that. It was one of the only good things that happened under Margaret Thatcher's government, and uh, uh, and it's beautiful. I can't look at it though. I can't turn mm. and look at it. I you can, can look. look at I can look at Izzy Westbury. I can look at Ben Jones. I can look at. Henry Moran and I can look at Barat Sundarason and I can look at some of the most beautiful people. It's a Cricket Society wedding of the year. Everybody who's good and great is here. Dan Brettig is here. I mean, you can't get bigger mm -hmm. than that. Mm -hmm. um, He's not even in a box. They let him out of the box for the day. Well, let, let's bring Barat in. I, th I, think it's, I think it's time to What do you want me to, to do with this? Well, why don't you give it to me um, and then I'll give it to him. We'll, we'll make things work. That's the, this, is, this is an absolutely well-oiled machine. It is, is it? Is it Barat Sundarason, can you give us your version of the wedding in 30 seconds? It was my first ever English wedding, so I didn't know what to expect. I'd only seen it in the movies. Initially, I was disappointed that they didn't play the tan 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 Dan, 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 Dan. Mm -hmm. so I was playing it in my head even though they were playing some other song, more famous song. Uh, it was beautiful. I thought the bride's father had great poise just the way he walked her towards the altar. Could you call it the altar? Yeah. Uh, and I told him that. Uh, he looked at me with wonder, wondering sure. why I was invited to this wedding and who I was. Uh, but uh, I think he would finally eventually realize who I am. What was the song that was playing when they came in? I was completely Here blanked. Uh, Here Comes, Here comes the, sun. the Sun. It was an yeah. instrumental mm. sort of finger-picky acoustic na, 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 guitar na, 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 version of that, na, na, na. Um, which, which made things sort of placid. Um, and also they had Winifred May, uh, oh. at all, of, all of three years old, leading the charge up the aisle, yeah. looking a little bit shy at all of the people in the room um, and, and Peggy in a basket looking pretty oblivious because what else do you expect a not yet six month old baby to do? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, they were the perfect silly point in short leg for this wedding, weren't they? Like, yeah, they were the ones you would expect, uh, you know, the youngest. So obviously you throw them into the silly point short leg positions. Like, yeah, with the helmets on, though. Very important that at that age they have the helmets on. Uh, and Adam Collins would ensure that he's a wonderful father. And I'm so happy that uh, now he can... It, just the way he said wife. And I got my W right as well yeah. there, so good. I didn't say wife. Uh, so the way he said wife for the first time, you could see, I saw, I think he teared up a little. That's my intro mm. for the copy anyway, mm. even if he didn't. Nobody, I was in the end. Luckily, they said you can't record this wedding. Uh, the camera's off. So yep. whatever I write about this wedding, I'm Neville Carter's. You're Neville Carter's. It Neville will Carter's. be true. Yeah. Whatever you write will be true. All right. Uh, brilliant. Thank you. Let's get Isabel Westbury in here um, as we do our, our host rotation here on the Final Word Wedding Daily. Izzy, welcome back to the show. Nice to see oh, you wait, again. Thank you. And, uh, having left cricket, you're now you're moonlighting for the wedding daily. Friend of the podcast. Or as, as Barrett was saying, we're actually cousins of the podcast because we're yeah. that close. Yeah, we're beyond friends at this point, I think. Um, can you give us your version of the day in 30 seconds? I mean, it doesn't need 30 seconds. It was literally the fact that Adam Collins commentated his own <laughs> wedding. It was absolutely incredible. His vows were read out as though he was watching, I don't know, sort of Brett Lee trundling in and, and delivering Trundle. off a... Trundling. 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 Sorry, charging, charging in because Thank we're you. Australian. Thundering. Also, obviously, I've turned up an Australian emerald green as sure. a sort of vote of something or other to do with, you know, Adam Collins is an Aussie. Call yes. Back. Yes. But still, at the moment, there was there was a fair bit of projection in the in the um, the, the enunciation yes. of the vows. I mean, it can only be learned from a career in broadcasting. He, I, there's nothing else to say apart from he was commentating his own wedding, his own vows. It was as though someone was playing a game of cricket with him. But no, Adam Collins was actually getting married. I promise, it was it was happening. And and I mean, it was it was emotional. I mean, we know Adam as a hundred percent drive, foot to the floor kind of person. But there was a moment in there with a little catch of the voice, with a little, oh, this is actually happening. Oh, absolutely, because finally Adam Collins has met his match. Mm. Rachel knows exactly how to handle him. She knows that she can just tap him off to fine leg and run a single and sit on the other side. Yeah, absolutely. He's found his match and it's beautiful. Let's get, let's see, Ben Jones, why don't, why don't we have you in next as, a, as, we, as we roll through our host rotations. Everybody... Um, every, well, most of, most of the previous co-hosts, I suppose we've had a few others as well. Welcome back to The Final Word. Thank you, Jeff. It's very kind of you. Can you give us a, the day in 30 seconds? Uh, no, but I'm going to give you today in one moment, which was the exact moment where Carlo decided for the first time, I think maybe in his life, to announce his full name with all of his middle names, mm -hmm. um, which did distinctly give me the vibe of a kind of matrimonial nerd pledge um, as if he was being as if he was referring to himself as a kind of 18th century test match cricketer who played one test match right. being like oh by the way I, uh, I, I I don't know if you've heard of this guy Adam such and such and such a Collins uh, he um, he actually used to play for Victoria it was a very it was a kind of very bleak career but such and such and such and such thank you for your one pound fifty it had that kind of air which I think is quite a quite an interesting contribution to a wedding vibe given okay that, I, don't, I don't think I I don't think Rachel or Winnie or Peggy were really up for we'll, that. We'll come into the shot. Henry, Henry, you're warming up here we, as well. We are because we're getting told we need to wrap up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some quite dramatic news that Adam's actually not aware of, which is he talks me this morning. <laughs> he gave me a call, a Hail Mary. Okay. Say, could you go? What? Could you go to Lords and set up the commentary box for SEN tomorrow? And I said yes, of course, absolutely fine, no problem at all. Got there, massive problem. <laughs> have to move commentary boxes, moved all the equipment. Everything's fucked. He's got no idea about it. So, it's no going to be present. fine. It's my little wedding present. I'm okay. going to be there at seven tomorrow morning. I'm going to get it sorted. But he has no idea that it's absolutely. Oh my god. So okay, but but if we publish this podcast today, <laughs> he's then he's <laughs> yeah. But if he's spending his wedding night listening to the final word, well, he might. You can't rule it out. Yeah. To be fair, he said his vows as if I expected to hear Bunnings Warehouse after yeah, it. In yeah. fairness, so. <laughs> today, today's vows are sponsored by Super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the projection was there, but let's 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 turn our thoughts before we get kicked out of here to to the Hall of Fame for today. I, th yeah. I think my moment was the celebrant who didn't think that they could remember more than three words in a row. I know. You know. <laughs> Do you, Adam? Do I? I solemnly, I solemnly oh, no. swear that, swear that. Like, give them a sentence. Get, oh, no. Give them something to get their Jeez. teeth into. Honestly, give, give them a. This is a man that knows every single <laughs> slogan, statement, and advert from every single Australian company from the Northern Territories to Western <laughs> Australia to New South Wales. You've got a funeral home. You've got a small business that sells bits of carpentry. He knows the slogan. You're talking to the wrong audience. Mm. He needed to have more 
license, I personally would have said. That's, that's, that's where I went as well. Did you have a Hall of Fame moment for the day? Um, I'd say the brief moment where final word favourite Winnie kind of stole the, stole the show, I think. She mm-hmm. kind of ran, ran, down, ran down the aisle looking, I'll say nonplussed, um, but very much a, uh, a kind of uh, a fan favourite. I've got a Norcross on my shoulder, I don't know if you can see. Well, my Hall of Fame moment was when uh, Jack Blatherwick was out, the ninth Lancashire wicket to fall <laughs> at the exact moment that the ring was put on to Adam Collins' wow. finger and that meant almost certainly that Surrey are going to remain top of the county championship with a stonking win against their title rivals Lancashire. Two moments that will never be separated the Blatherwick wicket um, and, and, and on it goes. I thought it was it was a beautiful moment to feel they've just finished refurbishing that Camden Town Hall. Mm. It's gorgeous in there. If, you, it, it really if you've is. never been inside, it, it's white marble everywhere. It's extraordinary, and the gathering of people from around the world uh, who who came here to celebrate an extraordinary person and one we're all extremely fond of, um, and who now has another person we're extremely and, and, fond and of. And the fact that she still puts up with Adam. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, I was just <laughs> waiting for someone to do that little turnaround. Until, Bing, the, end, boom. until the end of their married lives uh, together. Until the end of their married lives together which let us hope will be long um, thank you to everybody out there who's listened to the show and who demanded this special final word wedding daily I hope that we've been able to meet your expectations we have to go and get dinner um, before we are reprimanded for being late we really um, do. but we will see you all very soon because the Lord's test starts tomorrow that's planning see you soon <laughs>